Hey friends, today I am hanging out at Disney's Animal Kingdom. I wanted to come out and do a shopping video where I go around to the different areas of the park and try to find something unique and special that I can buy in each of the lands. And I thought Animal Kingdom would be a perfect spot because there's so many amazing areas. Anywho's, let's go do this. I have done shopping videos like this in the past at Magic Kingdom and Epcot. Epcot was easy because I just went around World Showcase and went to the different countries. And then Magic Kingdom, I visited all the different lands like Tomorrowland and Frontierland. So here at Animal Kingdom, we have Africa, Discovery Island, Pandora, Dino Land USA, and Asia. I would go to Rafiki's Planet Watch, but I don't think there's anything over there I can buy. And we're gonna try to find some unique gifts in each area. I don't have any guidelines to go off of. I'm just gonna be looking for things that are fancy and catches my eye, and not something that I could probably buy anywhere else. So that's why like in Tomorrowland, I bought a Space Mountain cookie jar. In Epcot's World Showcase, I ended up buying potato chips from Japan, stuff like that. And I feel like here at Animal Kingdom, there is a lot of nifty shops and things that they only sell here, and we're gonna explore them. We're gonna make our way into Dino Land USA and then make our way around kind of counterclockwise going through Asia and then ending in Discovery Island. And I'm just excited to see what we're gonna get. I believe the last two times I've done these kind of videos before, Epcot Magic Kingdom, I spent around $100 to $150. I would like to keep it under $100 today, but if something really awesome is there, I'm gonna wanna get it. So, you know what I mean? Like, I've gotten things like my uh, cow puncher badge right here, that was only like 10, 15 bucks. Then, uh, oh, of course, I've got the bonsai tree in Japan, and that was really awesome. And I think that was like $50. So you can get anything. Prices can go from a dollar to a hundred. There's not many places you can buy things over in Dino Land USA. There's Chester and Hester's Dinosaur Treasures, or you can actually try to win something in Dino Rama. And maybe we'll look at winning something because that's kind of like buying something. They have a lot of carnival style games over here where you can actually win some Dino-Rama like stuffed animals. And I think that is really cool. I've always wanted them. I think they're $5 a game. So I think we're gonna try one. We're just gonna give it one and then head on into Chester and Hester's Dinosaur Treasures if we can't win nothing. There we go, we got our ticket. We could do whack-a-mole. Oh, they got the basketball, the Bronto score. And then also, they got the fossil fuel. So this is like that water gun game. Ooh, those are the dinosaurs. Those are the ones I was talking about. Are you guys ready to play? Looks like a game just ended, so I think we're gonna actually slip in there and see if we can win ourselves a dino. <laughs> These are the ones I want. I want that one right there. You see it says Dino-Rama on it, and it kind of looks like that dino right there. That's the one. Oh. Number eight. Number eight, right here. Thank you. you. Are also set. <laughs> oh, right around to my I'm excited. Side. We've got competition. I'm going with this one right here. Four or more players means we can get the dino we want to get. And I think there's six people. One in six chances here. Two. Let's play. done my friend very nicely done it is a close close race i can't even see with my own eyes but number 11 winner my winner very nicely done oh winner winner that did not go as planned and i lost so <laughs> we're heading in to dinosaur treasures prehistoric prices with mammoth deals merchandise of extinction Oh my lord, that is closed. So now I feel like we're gonna have to play another game. It closes at four o'clock, which is kind of strange because the carnival games are open till six. I don't know. I guess we're gonna go all in. We gotta get that dino. I could buy some pins from the stand out here and they also have some nice hats, like a Pumbaa hat. But I, I think I just, I gotta get the dino. I, I mean, I, I feel like that's the only thing that is kind of like calling my name. Now the question is, do I try the same game again or do I try a game of chance? Because there are two games of chance here. The Comet Crashers is that game where you throw the ball in and if you get 
it in one of the colors, you win the prize. And they do have my gyno there. There we go. I think we're gonna go for it. So all we have to do is get it in the red. The red is the way to go. Okay, I got a good Welcome feeling about this. You have a universe and one, uh, four comets in front of you. You have to crash into the universe to get a color. Planet. If you get a color, you get a prize. No color, no prize. You ready? Okay, go ahead and start. Nope, not too good here. Yeah, good job. Oh. Keep going. Mine went over there. Ooh, yes, I got it. Finally. <laughs> Finally, there it is. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> That's the one right there. Oh, thank you. <laughs> this makes me so happy. I can't believe I won it. <laughs> the funny thing is, is I only spent 10 bucks. So if I probably, I don't even know if you could buy these in the store, but if they were selling them inside like a merchandise location, it probably would be 20, maybe $25. It's pretty big. <laughs> I'm really happy. Now I'm going to make my way into Asia and there's a couple different spots where you can buy some really cool things over here. I've seen them before in the past but I never stopped and took a closer look so we're going to see what they have. They have multiple places you can buy stuff here. Expedition Everest the gift shop, they have tons of little stands and then they have the market right here which is actually probably where I'm going to find the most unique thing. This is the market right here. And they've got a lot of different treasures in here. I mean, holy moly. You never really pay attention to these things. I like these Buddhas here. I've seen this cool paperweight that they have in here. This seems kind of awesome. It's $20 though. And I think this is a zodiac sign. They have a whole bunch of different zodiac signs here, like necklaces and charms. But I don't know if that's what we're looking for. I I think that this is actually the Yak and Yeti gift shop. I mean, they have teas, and then they also have chopsticks, and like learner chopsticks. Like, I like these little guys right here. They kind of teach you how to do it. I could use those, probably. How much are these, actually? Oh, $10. Oh, $5, that's not too shabby. Five bucks for that. You can also get some Yak and Yeti seasoning. I think that's really interesting. How much are these? $8 for the seasoning. What about these, are these coffee mugs? Very cool. Oh, some Yak and Yeti hot sauce too. See, you can buy this stuff. You don't have to take it off the table. It's not too bad either. It's only like five bucks. I wouldn't mind getting some Yak and Yeti seasoning, but I think we can probably find some cooler items in the Expedition Everest gift shop. So we're gonna head over there and check that out. But if not, I will go back and get the Yak and Yeti seasoning. I feel like that, that's a cool thing to have. It's also a very windy, stormy, rainy day looking today. And it makes this whole entire area over here look 10 times better. Because you see the wind like hitting the little flags. And how about the cloud above the actual Expedition Everest attraction? Or the mountain itself, it looks so cool. You can't even see it really. I think they're gonna have some really good stuff in here. They used to have a special kind of liquor actually they served here. I don't think they do that anymore. It looks like they got some really cool things over here. I found this mug and I like it because it has a cool looking Yeti on it and it actually says Everest Summit Gear and it's a small coffee mug. Looks like it's $22.99. They have hand cast meditation bowls. I don't think I've ever done one of these before. Like don't you spin it around like this? Like that? Oh that's kind of cool. Fancy. And I believe, oh it's $29.99. Oh and then they have these. Wow, I was just saying how much I like those flags outside, and they have them. I didn't even know they sold them in here. $16.99. I think I might want to get this. I mean, I think that would be really cool and unique. I am definitely getting this because not only is it just one flag, it's a bunch of flags, and they hang it to like promote good fortune. I'm so happy I came over here. This is like perfect for me. This right here behind us is what it looks like outside of the packaging. So this is gonna actually be really cool. I can't wait to hang this up in my house. Honestly, 
that might be one of the coolest purchases I've ever bought in a park. And they actually come from Asia. I asked the cast member inside and she said that they actually sell out quickly. So if you see them, grab them when you can. I had to actually open it up just so I can get a good look at it. Doesn't that look so cool? Like they fit in perfectly with Expedition Everest. Honestly, I feel like that is one of my coolest things I've ever bought in the parks. I don't know why I got so excited about it because I always walk past, like whenever I'm walking through Asia and by Expedition Everest, I'm always like, it's so pretty over here. And I had no idea that they sold them in there before. And that's why I love making these videos because it kind of like makes me like keep my eyes peeled for things so I can catch them. Normally, I probably would never notice that they sold them unless I did this video today. Now I need to move along to Africa. Hopefully some of the merchandise locations are open over there. I was a little sad that the Dino Land one was closed. Well, look at the bubbles. That was beautiful. I was a little sad, like I said, the Dino Land was closed, but that's what happens. You have to come and do this early because a lot of things close early at Animal Kingdom, I noticed. Good news though, it looks like the main spot I wanted to go to is open. So we're gonna actually be able to see if we could find something fancy in there. You know one thing I would love to get that I probably can't get because they don't sell them, but is some of the stickers that they have on the walls out here. Especially the Festival of the Lion King ones. I think they look so cool. I feel like they should sell these, right? Like they're, they're actually like stickers, like they hang them there and they have a lot of them because people normally rip them off all the time. If you look around everywhere in Animal Kingdom, they have those stickers, people rip them off almost on the daily. So they constantly replenish them and put more on top of each other. I think that's a cool little interesting fact. There is definitely gonna be some unique things inside Zwaini Traders. I always look in there and I'm like, wow, this is really cool. I see these cool Animal Kingdom mugs right here. These are really nice, kind of reminds you of the Tree of Life, but I feel like that's something you could probably get in Discovery Island. I'm not too sure what these are though. What are these soup pops? Oh, wait, I don't think, I think that's decoration. I don't think that's supposed to come off like that. Yeah. I don't think those are for sale. Those are definitely not for sale. How funny was that? Usually Disney has like this stuff fastened down. So that's why I was kind of confused. Like see, none of this stuff's fastened down. You can actually like pick these up. I wonder if these teapots are for sale. This is really funny. They also have drums. These drums are for sale, $16.95. Look at that. I like it. Oh, and some nice mask as well. Made in Kenya. See, I told you you can find some really cool items in here. Lots of cool musical instruments. I think that's really cool because I wouldn't mind getting a musical instrument. I mean, they have whole different types of them. It's kind of like a shaker. They got the shakers. They got things like this. Look at that. It's got a little hidden Mickey on it. Oh, I like this actually. Oh, that's funny. They even have a copyright Disney on there. I might get this actually, but I don't know because they have tons of stuff. Look, what is this? Oh wow, or this? I have no idea what this is. I'm actually having a hard time finding out what is actually for sale and what's decoration because the way they have it like placed inside the store and I don't know, it's really, it's kind of funny to me. Like you can see these vases and all these other items and trinkets in the wall here and some of this stuff's for sale, like this is for sale I would say. What do you think? Yeah. Look at that. That's really nice. Oh, $17.99. I'm not too sure what this is though. Caution, not for food use. May poison food. Wow, that's kind of strange. I like it, I don't know what it's for. Honestly, the more I look around, the more I think I want to get like some musical instruments. I think they're so cool and they have a whole bunch of well, like tons of different offerings. So far this is my front runner because I love it because there's a little Mickey on it. But also I like this one because it sounds like an actual frog. Do you hear it? it sounds like a, a ribbit. That is so cool. I think I need to get this. Yeah, that is my favorite actually. Oh, it's only $15.99. But it does, it sounds just like a frog. How cool is that? Oh, but I already bought the bullfrog and I didn't see these fancy things out here. Look at this. 
Oh man, that would have been so cool. I should have waited. I would have loved to get this. Hakuna Matata. What a wonderful phrase. This would have been cool. $55. Oh well, no buyer's regret. We're heading over to Pandora. So far, I, I'm feeling great. We spent $10 for our stuffed animal. Then we spent, uh, I think it was $15 for our prayer flags. And then $15 for our frog. We're under 50 bucks. This is a successful day. We have two more stops to go. Now it's time we head on over to Pandora in the Valley of Mora. You can hear the wildlife <laughs> in Pandora pretty well, huh? I actually already own something really cool from Pandora. I own a bioluminescent pod from the Valley of Mora here. And I think that's really cool. It's actually, and it lights up like it would do actually in here. Let me show you what I'm talking about because they actually have them throughout the whole entire land. And I actually have one of them and it's really awesome. These bad boys right here. I actually have it in a, a case and it lights up and it's really awesome. All of Pandora lights up at night and it's beautiful. So we're gonna actually look to see if we can find some other cool things that we could take home with us. There's only one spot you can buy stuff here in Pandora, and that's in Wind Trader. So we're gonna head right on in. But it's gonna be really cool stuff though, because it's all Pandora themed. You can see already, we can grab ourselves some wings, a tail, even a little drum. Look at that. They have Pandora drums. Ooh, they light up. <gasps> Get out of town. I can't find something I already want already. Oh my lord. This is really cool though. Does it play music? $24.99. Oh my, I want to get like two of them. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Okay, I can't buy the drums right away. Even though they're really calling my name. I got to look around a little bit because there might be something better. But how cool are those? It would fit so perfect with my little pod. Oh man, we, that, that's a front runner. Of course, they do have the avatar maker where you can create your own avatar. I think that would be really awesome to do. It matches your face so you get this little guy and it actually is you. Wow, I would love to do that. I don't know how much it costs, but it's probably pretty expensive and I don't know if they're doing it right now. Looks like everything's closed off. Still, that's gotta be one of the cooler experiences that you can do here. Oh wow, look at this. That is so fancy. I didn't realize that the people of the Navi were so big, like that is a giant. It's $80 to get your own avatar. I think I would have done it if it was up and running, but it is closed at the moment, so sadly that's a big no. But if it was up and running, that's what I would probably do. You can always adopt a Banshee, but also take a look at this. This was the pod that I'm talking about. Look at that. They have it as decoration in here. It's not for sale though, I don't think, but that's what I have. Isn't that so cool? So I think I'm gonna go with the drum. I know it's kitty, but I really think it's awesome and it's gonna go well with my pod and I'm happy. I'm really happy. It got me super excited when I saw it and I didn't know it was gonna glow up when I hit it, but it reminds me of the drums that they had outside, which I hope they bring that show back soon because I think that was really fun. You're coming home with me. Look at that. Oh. Uh... <laughs> All right, so now we have officially crossed the $50 mark, but well worth it. I think that drum is so cool. I feel like it's kind of a kid toy, but I think we're all kids. I mean, we're all big kids at heart, you know? And I have a whole bunch of Disney stuff in my house anyway, so it's only gonna just look like it belongs there anyway. Holy moly, Flight of Passage is a 120 minute wait though, and the park's closing in an hour. So technically you can get in line at seven o'clock and still be here at nine. Oh wow, I can hear the drums. I think they brought them back. Oh, they did. It's so cool and I just bought a drum. This makes me so happy since I just bought the drum. <laughs> now I think it's time we head on over to Discovery Island and that's gonna be our last stop. And we went completely all the way around Animal Kingdom. The only thing we didn't do was uh, Rafiki's Planet Watch because there's nothing over there. I don't even think they have a merchandise location, so there would be nothing to buy. I could have went over and did the animation experience. It would have cost nothing. It would have been free, and I could have my own like picture, but I could do that at home, actually. I could draw my own. Well, it wouldn't look that good, though. 
This has been such a fun adventure. I really love everything we've bought in so far. And now I think we're gonna head on into Island Mercantile and hopefully get something else. If you guys like this video and you haven't seen my Magic Kingdom shopping one or Epcot, I'll put the uh, link in the description to check out those videos because they're all fun. And the only other park I haven't done is Hollywood Studios. I would love to go do that and also Universal would be a fun one. Oh, I can do Universal and Islands of Adventure. That'll be fun. I love shopping and I love getting like really nifty things like I don't buy like fancy clothes or anything like that usually I'm like okay I'll buy this $20 stuffed animal well technically I want it for 10 bucks but I feel like that is something to cherish you know what I mean lots of cool things in here but one thing that caught my eye is you can buy the music of Animal Kingdom I think that's really awesome so they have Festival of the Lion King right here look at it, it says Disney's Animal Kingdom right on there and it has all the different songs and then also this one right here. Well, this seems really awesome. I don't think I've ever seen this before. Live in the village. Oh, wow. This would be amazing. I could buy the CD, but honestly, I don't listen to many CDs these days. Actually, I don't think I own any CDs. So I'm not too sure if that would be a smart decision. I knew Discovery Island was gonna be a little bit challenging because they don't have like many things that are like special or different and I kind of want something that's gonna be signature, you know? You know, like I want something that reminds me of each of the different areas. Like they all kind of like coexist already. The dinosaur, the prayer flags, the uh, <laughs> the frog will definitely remind me of Africa. And then even the drum over in Pandora. So I'm not too sure like what I can get over here that will remind me of Discovery Island. The tree of life, that's it, that's it. We need something with the tree of life on it. That's exactly what we need. That's what reminds me of Discovery Island, is the tree of life. I hopped over to the Discovery Trading Post, or yeah, I think it's the, oh, Discovery. I hopped over to the Discovery Trading Company because I wasn't seeing much in Island Mercantile, but I'm happy I did because I could see lots of other cooler things in here already. This tree of life throw would be really cool. $39.99, very fancy. And then they also have a whole bunch of different mugs and plates and like lots of stuff that has to do with Animal Kingdom. We've already seen this over in Africa. I'm still not too sure what that is. If you guys know what those are, let me know in the comments. This is gonna be a tough one. I don't wanna buy something just to buy it. I really want it to stand out and I want it to be unique. So I'm gonna keep looking around, but I'm really having a hard time finding something. Nothing's like, nothing's really standing out. After looking around a little bit, I really wasn't finding anything. So I came back over to Island Mercantile and I'm so glad I did because it hit me like a ton of bricks. I am gonna get a personalized character picture with the Tree of Life. Perfect! I am so excited about this. I was like, wow, that's like, the, it's literally the perfect thing to do. I said the Tree of Life, this is in Discovery Island, and I'm so happy right now. <laughs> I'm really happy. Looks like the prices are 25 for face only, black and white and then 30 for color, and then face and body is 30 and 40, and it's like a little cartoonish, and it has Walt Disney World on it, but I'm gonna get mine, like, with the Tree of Life, so it's gonna be Animal Kingdom, and I'm getting it done in Animal Kingdom. Is that a hopper right there? You can get these done at a lot of different places, but you're not gonna get it on that Walt Disney World paper, and you're not gonna be able to use the Disney World things. Like, they can't just use a Tree of Life or say, like, the uh, uh, castle, you know what I mean, because of copyright. So we're gonna actually get like a nice little, I'm excited for this, I don't, I'm kind of lost for words because I've always wanted to do it and I never done it, but now it makes sense to do it. <laughs> the best thing is, is they take your photo, so you actually don't even need to sit there and they actually can just look at you. So he already took my photo and now I can just walk around the park. It takes 10 to 20 minutes and then we come back and it should be ready. I wanted to stay and watch him actually uh, draw me, but I know that uh, they don't like people like looking over their shoulders, so I won't be able to see the painting, so I'm just gonna have a grand reveal. They said it takes about 10, 20 minutes, so I think I'm gonna walk over to Creature Comforts, get myself a coffee, and then walk back over, and uh, I can't wait to see what it looks like. I think it's gonna be amazing. I can definitely go for a little Starbies, so I'm very excited. 
I love how they have different names for all the Starbucks and the parks. Like this is Creature Comforts and then the Main Street Bakery. It's just really nice. It adds a little bit of a touch to it so it's not just Starbucks. There we go. A nice cold brew with sweet cream. Oh, that's the stuff. <laughs> I think our picture is ready. So we're gonna head back over to Island Mercantile. It is done. And it took just about 20 minutes, so I'm excited to show you guys. I wanna get it framed, I wanna hang it up with all my other cool Disney things. And I can't wait, all right, grand reveal, here it is. Oh boy. <laughs> Take a look at that. That is so funny. Look, he put paging Mr. Morrow. Then we got the tree of life and some animals. I just look like I'm ready to go. Oh, look at the hidden Mickey cloud. That is amazing. I paid $46 for this. I feel like that is such a good, that's a good bargain. Actually slimmed me down a little bit too. Not too shabby. This is well worth it. I mean, honestly, and you can get it uh, flat or rolled so that you can uh, travel with it. And I decided to go flat because I'm just going to take it home from here. But I think they did a great job. And with that, I think I have done here. I had so much fun making this video today. I absolutely love doing videos where I kind of like challenge myself to think outside the box. I try to find creative things to do and buy and see in the park. So I always love making it. Like I said, I plan on making a couple more of these videos. I hope you enjoy them. And uh, yeah, like I said, that's going to be it for me. I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.